What's up everyone? The NASCAR Cup Series is going dirt racing for the first time in half a century this week and we're doing it at Bristol Motor Speedway. Now as a little aside here, I'm actually, I'm kind of disappointed that we're losing one of our asphalt Bristol races. Kind of one of the best races on the schedule and I'm sad we're losing one of them, but at the same time I am very excited to see what these cup cars can do on a dirt track. Now, believe it or not, this is not the first time that Bristol has been covered in dirt. The World of Outlaws actually brought their sprint cars to Bristol, covered it in dirt in 2000 and 2001. Unfortunately, they had to stop doing it because trucking in the uh, dirt to the speedway to and from was destroying the infrastructure surrounding it. It was tearing up the roads and everything. So they had to stop, but what uh, we can simulate here is we've got ourselves a video game that features Dirt Bristol. It is Saturday Night Speedway, and it is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. If you are a fan of dirt racing, of just oval racing in general, this is a must-have. You can emulate it, get it for PS2. It uh, came out for... Uh, PC as well, but it's made by an Australian company uh, called Ratbag, and uh, you know sprint cars are big in Australia, but this game is a ton of fun. I don't claim to be a sim racer, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's uh, fairly realistic, at least for me it is. But uh, you've got three different classes of cars, you've got late models, you've got pro stocks, and you've got midgets, uh, wingless sprint cars, which is what we are going to be running today around Bristol. And I'm going to change my chassis here to uh, the one that has the best acceleration. I tend to like that one. And uh, this is our paint scheme. One of the things that I really like about sprint cars is you get a lot of the uh, the painted roll cages. And I just, I love me some painted roll cages. They look badass. Dale Sr. had the red roll cage. They just look super cool. I love that. And we're doing automatic and semi-pro difficulty because this is just for fun and we're going to start in the back. But this game has like 15, I think, real world tracks and they are the big ones of dirt racing. You've got Bristol, you've got Eldora, you've got Williams Grove, Terra Hot, which I probably pronounced wrong, uh, and you've got Knoxville amongst some others uh, and you've got some really cool fictional fantasy tracks that we're not going to get into in this game but they are really fun and really imaginative but uh, we're going to go medium length so that's going to be uh, six lap heats so the same does feature heat races if we don't make the a main i don't know how long that's going to be but the a main is going to be 20 laps and like i said we're only doing semi-pro difficulty just because this is for fun and I want lots of action and lots of passing and we're gonna come from the back to the front and maybe win I don't know I'm not the best driver ever so we might not but we are gonna pass lots of things and that's going to be exciting we're gonna skip qualifying so we're just gonna start in the back heat two I'm gonna turn on my foot cam because this is dirt racing and you steer with the throttle along with the steering wheel if I can get this to go here. Yeah, there we go. All right, quick clap for uh, syncing up our videos. Ah, better clap. There we go. Right next to my ear. Okay, let's go dirt racing at Bristol. I'm just going to be steering with one hand here because you really got to saw a whole bunch on the wheel. Okay, and the green flag is actually not going to come out until we cross the line, so that's a, that's a little unrealistic, but the physics here are pretty great, and already you can see our visor is getting covered in dirt. That's one of the tiny little details that I really love. You get tear-offs in this game. Woo! Almost spun it, and we can't see, and we're only one lap in. Gotta hit one of those tear-offs. This is a pretty short race, so we've got plenty of tear-offs here. If you're not in traffic and you hit everything just right, you can go around this track flat out. So seventh is our target 
to make the A main, and right now we're running in sixth. Sixth. So we're looking pretty good. Oh boy. And a terrible entry for a terrible exit. And not very clean passes either. But we're running in fourth. Looking pretty good. As long as we don't spin the car, we're going to be transferring into the A main. I don't know how far back the other guys are. Unfortunately, no rear view mirror, which I think is realistic for uh, like sprint cars. But there's also there's no rear view option for pro stock or late model either. Okay, we're going to really dive on this guy. Not even doing a slide job, just sticking it low. Okay. Well, third in heat number two. So I think we're going to be starting uh, sixth then. Math is hard. So yeah, there we go. Lap, uh, fastest lap of 1434. I think my all-time great is uh, 1360 is my best lap. When uh, the World of Outlaws came in 2000 and 2001, they were running like roughly kind of 14 seconds-ish. So we're, we're about uh, around that time, maybe a little bit faster. All right. Before we, uh, before we go... 20 laps just so I can talk about it while we're not concentrating on driving. Another thing that I really love about this game is some of the AI cars will crash without your involvement. Like it doesn't happen all the time, but uh, this game does have caution flags and sometimes it's really frustrating when a game features cautions but nobody ever crashes but you or if the AI crash it's because you punted them out of the way. So I do like how every now and then an AI car will just mess up and crash. All right, so 20 laps. We're going to start in sixth. Why are we on the inside, though? I think since we started in heat two, we should be on the outside. Oh, well. Oh, sliding right up in front of him. I'm expecting a crossover. Yep, there he is. Ooh, and he checked up real bad. Big accordion effect there. Oh, and we've already messed up real bad. The yellow should be coming out for that. Yep, track hazard. And now, if that happens one more time, we are eliminated, disqualified. You can stall the car, but you can only stall it twice. Or I guess only once. If you stall it twice, then you're disqualified. Okay. Well, that did not go well at all. I do have simulation damage on. Oh, good lord. Anyway, I do have simulation damage on, but it doesn't seem to affect you in arcade mode, I guess. It's been a while since I've played this game. So yeah, not super realistic. We probably should be out of the race, or at the very least have a lot of damage. The suspension is probably destroyed, but hey, maybe we'll get an exciting back to the front. Race here. Oh boy, okay. We are a third of the, er, uh, not a third, math is hard, a quarter of the race in already. Woo. Just sticking it on the low side here, making quick work of the guys that we would have beaten anyway in the heat races. And we just kind of have to hope that the leaders will run into lap traffic. I mean, they will, but we'll have to hope that they struggle with lap traffic the brakes for the first time just because now I'm scared of any contact. Ooh. Oh boy, that was a little mini heart attack. Here we go, keep our foot in it on the exit there, give it some jandle. There we go, that's a clean pass. Up to ninth. Ooh. 
All right, so if we see that little chevron on a car in front of us, that's for position. We are probably gonna start hitting lap traffic ourselves, even though we are only an eighth. So not every single one of these cars will be for position. Oh boy, hit that guy, he's probably mad. All right, so there's halfway and we are up to sixth. Hey, big recovery. That's back where we started. We just got 10 laps. Gonna start getting maybe a little more aggressive. Oh dear. Not lifting, not lifting. Woo, we got all those guys and we did it clean. No, I know you, I said earlier, so I think I said earlier, that uh, if you're not in traffic, you can run. Hey, there's the leader. You can see that little one floating off in the distance. But if you're not in traffic, you can run flat out here on Dirt Bristol in a midget car, at least. Oh, boy. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not very confident in my own abilities right now. I'm a little sloppy. Up to third though. Alright, just five laps. I don't think we can catch the leader, but maybe we can catch second place. There we go, that was a very aggressive entry to the corner there. Made it work, we are closing. There is second place right in front of us. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any lap traffic help. All right, it's go time now. We gotta be aggressive. Starting to concentrate hard. That is like my second favorite paint scheme in front of us. The only reason I didn't pick that one is because no painted roll cage. But I do love that purple and day glow uh, yellow. One more lap. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, there we go. He got some trouble. Bonsai! There's the slide Bad job with the cross Bad under. Job. We got him. Yeah. It was on semi-pro, but still, how's that for excitement? Woo, okay. Yeah, best lap 14, uh, 14, 15. Did not break into the 13s this time. But there you go. Saturday night speedway. Some of the most fun you can have in a dirt car. I hope you had fun. I'm excited for Dirt Bristol. I hope you are too. And, uh, yeah, woo, I'm tired. That'll, uh, that'll wear you out, some dirt racing. But, yeah, see you in the next video.